W-E-F-U-N-K. We Funk. But I guess that would kind of get us to uh, talking about this year's Oscars being that, uh, much like last year, no host. So Yes, uh, another hostless Oscars. Now, what exactly was the story with this? Uh, last year, of course, K Hart scheduled to be host, pulled out... Uh, when like you know, you know, they found some backdated tweets of him or whatever. We won't get yeah. into the whole K Hart some controversy. quote unquote offensive tweets. Yeah. But then this year, so they just decided it worked out really well last year. Who needs it? I guess because in all yeah. honesty, probably the right move. You know, or I feel like a bunch of celebrities just didn't feel like deleting their Twitter <laughs> accounts. Like I mean, nah, Ger- nah, nah, nah. Gervais crushed it at the Globes. I'm sure he would have been happy to do it again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and again, Crystal, I guess he's. Uh, I don't know if he can. Uh, I guess we did the honors for him and wrote up the clever song this year. Yeah, so. really. I mean, how relevant is Crystal anymore? <laughs> Wouldn't most people be like, who the fuck? <laughs> <Seriously>. <laughs> But thank yeah, thankfully no crystal, I guess. Yeah, so this might <laughs> is kind of like an audition tape too. Like we're again, much like last year, throwing our hat. Oh, in the dude, ring. I turned us down. Oh yeah, <laughs> my bad. You don't feel like uh, deleting your tweets. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I, uh, yeah. I thought it would be. Uh, there's a be lot of time. Uh, there's a previous episode <laughs> where Liam has a lot to say about Caitlyn Jenner. So. <laughs> But we don't no, feel like deleting. In all honesty, dude, I just feel like uh, they probably just went on with it. Like, they probably, in all honesty, will be a Billy Crystal or a Hugh Jackman that does some asinine song to open the show up. And then, boom, right into the awards, which is really how it goes down anyway. Like, you don't really need the host. Because yeah. all the host does is the opening monologue and then kind of bring up the presenters. Now you just get the kind of narrator, and now coming right now. to the stage. So me and you still down to do that, by the way. I've got to signed up for best director. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm going to rig it for QT, obviously. And uh, now, <laughs> please welcome to the stage. And the winner is two poops. <laughs> <laughs> I mean two popes. God damn it. I knew I was going <laughs> to. <laughs> I blew it. <laughs> but uh, yes, like we said, another hostless Oscars this year. Yeah, but yeah. They, uh, leave it to it them. Might be. Now, who did they do? Uh, uh, the Globes, like I mentioned. Gervais hosted the Globes. Oh, Gervais. Was crushed it, by the way, like I did mention. I think we might have talked a little bit about it on one of our... Actually, I don't, I don't know if we have, but did you see uh, Gervais's... I did. Have you at least YouTubed? Have you at I least pulled, watch... pulled, pulled a big LW and YouTube the... I did watch the uh Now, the what'd opening. you feel? Kind of controversial, but... I mean, I guess. He just... I mean, it's controversial, but... Gervais did. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly what I expected For the to fifth time. Almost to a point where it was just like, yeah, I get it, man. Like, <laughs> this is exactly what I expected I mean, you to given, do. given, like, the things going on in Hollywood for him to kind of direct... Several times, like, directly call out the wine saying, you worked with him, not Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Like, Jeffrey Epstein's kind of your friend. Not, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, all that, kind of, all that kind of stuff. The whole, uh, no speeches, you know what I mean? Just like, you guys didn't go to college. You know what yeah. you're talking about. Just fucking thank your agent. Get the he hell said, out don't of thank God. And no, oh, yeah, no one gives about your politics, <laughs> which was funny enough because... The first guy that won, thanked God, and then Russell Crowe won an award, and it was all like, global warming is real, and it was like, back to back. No one's listening to Ricky? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> what are you, Trace trying you to get that, roasted? He laid down the rules. I mean... But it really was just kind of like exactly what to be expected. His whole like, this yeah, is the last time I'm doing it. This is the last time I'm doing it. Now let me drink my pint of beer. And it was like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We but also, isn't at this point, too, Ricky Gervais a part of the Hollywood elite? Like, yeah, that's true. It's not well, like he's like some middle no, that's true. of the road no, like British comedian. Kind of, yeah, he's yeah, a big sure. deal. When him like, and like Chris Rock try to take on the Hollywood yeah, insiders. Yeah. Like, Dude, you guys are the biggest superstars <laughs> there. <are>. Like, yeah. <laughs> you've got a little bit. But that being said, I do feel that he did, you know, uh, uh, he did do justice for mm-hmm. some controversial statements going after, you know, like does take balls to die directly call out like Tarantino for being friends with uh, uh, Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein, you know, yeah. like while Tarantino's sitting there about to get an award for it, you know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. So uh, from that aspect, but I guess Gervais, so we already used Gervais for the Globes, so he's, uh, take him off the list. Yeah, he's already got burnt through enough, and uh, no one wants to see Ellen taking selfies again and ordering <laughs> everyone pizza. We get it. So I like I do like the idea of a hostless Oscars, just because, yeah, like you sure. said, it's kind of a pointless job. But uh, I guess so. I guess kind of the other big stories 
uh, uh, just in general, I'd say for me, kind of going into it, we got a lot of big names, a lot of Hollywood heavy hitters, a lot of heat. It is a lot of big celebrity names, names year, especially man. for me, I'd say in the best director category. But you get two of the greats of the of the generation for me and D Boy over here, but mm-hmm. Tarantino and Scorsese going head to head in best director and best picture uh, as well. Yeah, and just kind of looking at the stats, uh, unthinkably. Uh, or just shockingly, I'll throw it over to Devin, but if I'm going to give you an over-under uh, amount of Best Director awards, Academy Awards for Best Director, between Scorsese and Tarantino, potentially like the two great sure. directors of at least Tarantino, pretty much the 90s and beyond, combined. Scorsese obviously, combined total Oscars, Best Director I would one between. I'm not even letting you answer. Oh, okay, I was gonna say three. <laughs> yeah, three. No, you would figure. I would have. I would have guessed fucking ten by <laughs> Scorsese alone. You know what I mean? But no, one yeah. best uh, director, none for Tarantino. One? No, no, none for Tarantino. Yeah, but you said just one between the two. One of them? between the two of them. I, Scorsese won for The Departed. And then Tarantino has been nominated. I could have for sworn I've seen a Tarantino up there giving some crazy. He's given speech. speeches for. He's won for like screenplay awards. And okay. Writing yeah, awards, yeah, yeah. You're right. But for best director. He's never won a. Uh, he's been nominated a couple times. I uh, I think like three or four nominations. Pulp Fiction. I think maybe Crazy. Django or Inglorious Bastards and more recent stuff. And now, uh, of course, from Once Upon a Time. And then Scorsese. I mean, I yeah, guess for that's sure. Kind of like I can think of a we've like known about Scorsese. It's kind of like a like a, a crazy oddity that you've heard before. Yeah. That we probably talked about on the Irishman whole special. Uh, which, by the way, <laughs> second <laughs> plug. But make sure you. But uh, uh, shockingly, you know, dating back to just all of the more classic work in the 70s. I mean, like off the top of my one. head, I mean, even like Some obviously you would think Taxi time, Driver, like, yeah, for sure. Raging Bull. You think, yeah, the, the two from the you, Joker, the uh, Taxi Driver <laughs> yeah. and King of Comedy. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe King of Comedy, like Gangs of New York. Was, no, like, for a sure. Huge production, you would think. Uh, no, for sure. Tons I'm trying to think which one. What was it for? What would he get the best director for? Uh, the Departed. The Departed. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a great fucking movie. No, for but sure. like. But a Wolf of Wall Street, he's just been nominated so many times instead. Dude, I'm glad he didn't win for Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, just, you know, even if, uh, just literally from the 70s to the, you know. Yeah, you would think more than one. Every handful of years, he's got one thrown in the mix. And Tarantino, none. I could have sworn he would have won for Pulp and Fiction. Tarantino, potentially are two. You throw the Coen brothers in there. You got, for me, like my three yeah. go-to guys for directors. Both of them, uh, 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 like I said, one win between them. Both nominated, however... Some stiff competition and other great movies out there where I don't even necessarily know if they're going to win. Like, it's not even like they're the for- oh, foregone for sure. conclusion. You know what I mean? But, of course, you got Sam Mendes for 1917, which, yeah. like, and, and again, uh, the way it works here on the special, if you're not familiar with the first couple, like Devin said, but we're going to kind of later on run through all of the movies specifically and give you some of the stuff. But uh, uh, Sam Mendes, Todd Phillips from The Joker, and uh, Bong Joon Ho from Parasite all going against Scorsese and Tarantino. It's true. So it's tough true. competition for them, but definitely sentimental favorite as you'd love to see, for me at least, Tarantino finally getting his Yeah, I'm with in. you on that one, And too. I definitely feel Once Upon a Time, probably his most like Oscar kind of movie that you'd figure, you know what I mean? Like for a Tarantino movie. Let me throw you like a hot topic question. What would you say... Whose movies overall do you enjoy more? Would you be more of a Tarantino Ooh. guy or more of a Scorsese guy? Tough I will give you the caveat call. that both Tough directors call. usually have a lot of white dudes saying the N-word. <laughs> yeah, I know what I was going to say. Uh, so much so that but, Scorsese even puts himself in that scene, much like a Tarantino <laughs> move. In Taxi Driver, Scorsese's in the backseat of just fucking ripping it off. <laughs> and then again, you got to go Pulp Fiction with Tarantino. Yeah. It was like, no, 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 no. I wrote got this film part for evidence. me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> On film as a, no no OJ no <laughs> Mark Furman situation here <laughs> because they're fucking writer director and star of repeated uses of the N word but uh, I don't know with dude. that aside though who, which like movies a, do you uh, enjoy more that's like a, a my brother versus my sister kind of situation you know what I mean a real Just Sophie's little, choice <laughs> a real Sophie's choice kind of but. I mean, I don't know. I'd say probably, you know, you'd maybe have to go, or sco- go Scorsese just from, like, 
ultimate watchability. He's got kind of a more diverse catalog. He's probably got a bigger catalog dating all the way back to the 70s. Yeah, I get that. More of a wide-ranging scope where it's just like, you know what I mean? After you watch Pulp Fiction, you're going to watch uh, Inglorious Bastards and then something else psychotic. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. All right, You know what I mean? Like, do I ever do I ever get to just slow down and watch it? For sure. Know? Watch Jackie Brown. <laughs> See, because I would say Tarantino. I think overall, and I love like, Tarantino. Like, his, perhaps my... One, his catalog's a little smaller, so I've seen every Tarantino movie. You know, there's okay, some sure. good call. There's movies some that have like movies that I uh... gone through my fingers and that I <laughs> probably will never see. But there'll be some other Scorsese movies that you're like, wow, some I get to watch this one. Some fucking shitty YouTube like, documentary that, uh... I'll never watch. <laughs> oh, well, actually, forget about it, because then you get all the music docs. <laughs> so you got to go to Scorsese so you can get some uh, some last waltz in your life. But then as well, there's like that Paul Newman, Tom Cruise, Color of Money we found out was a Scorsese oh, movie. Oh, yeah. Like, there's that, like, Scorsese right. has all these, like, when you do that's the deep dive. Right. It's like Scorsese directed Star Wars, The Last Jedi Spy was Spy Kids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... But so I don't know, dude. You can't go wrong, I guess. And definitely, I'd say for heavy hitters, I'd say Pulp mm-hmm. Fiction and Reservoir Dogs are literally probably you know up there with Goodfellas as you know probably my, like no those doubt. could be my top three favorite movies. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Got yeah. two of them. You know what I mean? So, uh, uh, but overall, I'd say probably you got to go Scorsese. All right. But it's definitely, I definitely wouldn't choose Bong Joon Ho, <laughs> who very well could beat these two fuckers in the category. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> And like you think of last year too, like Roma was the best foreign film and won Best Picture. You yeah, know what I mean, no, for sure. I no, last year won. actually Roma didn't win. Uh, I think or did he win Best Director? He might have won Best Director. So yeah, in case yeah, in point yeah, of what we're sure. talking exactly. about, exactly. Because uh, as we all remember, Viga, uh, the Green oh, Book. That's right. That was a little hot. <laughs> Thanks for yeah, teaching right. me jazz, Doctor G. <laughs> <laughs> this music's really funky that you guys are playing. <laughs> Uh, uh, another real quick just kind of like director super loaded category most packed category best uh, sound mixing <laughs> I mean a lot of these movies got the, <laughs> they really sounded great this year I gotta say but uh, uh, I'd say uh, most stacked category this year uh, uh, next to the sentimental favorites of the Oscars but I'd say just uh, uh, the biggest names in the best supporting actor category all right, as uh, when you just look at the star power. But first of all, you got the big, you got the three Ps. All right, as you got Pitt, Pacino, and Pesci. All right, all right, probably the big sentimental favorite as well. Uh, Tom Hanks, who somehow is the supporting actor <laughs> yeah. for Mister Robertson's Neighborhood. I guess a movie uh, but about really who's all the star, he... one of the shithead kids that he's <laughs> touching, who whom's live he's no, touched. I think like Benjamin Tiger or whatever, one of the Muppets in the back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend land. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Daniel Tiger. The asshole best. that plays Elmo is the fucking lead. <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, so you get Tom Hanks as well as Sir Anthony Hopkins for two poops. And again, which... you would think he would be, uh, again, the, all the trailers, it's all his stupid face all over the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess when there's only two of them, who's to say, which, you know, I, I haven't seen it, I don't really know, but, you know, uh, uh, one of them's got to be uh, one of the big names. If it wasn't Anthony Hopkins, it would be Jonathan Price. But, I guess when uh, it's a movie called Two Poops, you want want to be number two <laughs> thank you yeah, thank guess you two poops really is the uh, <laughs> the leading man in, but uh, uh just when you look at the names super super stacked although you got to think heavy favored in this i mean one. pacino pesci and pitt alone it's right like there. a huge for like, sure I mean, Pesci, I guess you haven't seen Pesci's in a while. Pesci's probably but... the sentimental favorite, I'd but say. But when have you seen Pacino nominated for an Oscar That's anytime true. soon? Heat? Pacino, the last... No- uh, Jack yeah. and Jill? No, I, I think the last nomination he might have had is all the way... Uh, he won for Scent of a Woman in 93. Hoorah! That's the last time he's won. I don't even know if he's been nominated, honestly. Because what would it be for? Not he? Heat? I would say he, I mean, yeah. I don't know. Was that a, was that a nomin- it definitely wasn't uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Collateral Damage, the, the third of the De Niro Pacino. I mean, I think Pacino should have been nominated for heat for no other reason than you know it did she have a big <laughs> fat ass? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, so Pacino, definitely, you're right. De- if, if, uh, uh, definitely uh, uh, less Oscar pub than you would imagine. All right, same thing with Brad Pitt. I was going to say, Brad Pitt also. surprise you that he's not, like, really an Oscar kind of guy. But kind of, man, he would movies, seem but... like Seven would seem like, well, actually, he's terrible in Seven. <laughs> but he's had his been... season, you know, really fun, great movie, Snatch, one of my all-time faves. Yeah, Snatch is a good Fight one. Fight Club, one of my all-time faves. So I'm winning an Oscar for Ocean's Club, 13. So. <laughs> so yeah, now that's an Oscar. You know, I'm sure that's literally one sound mixing. But what about or like, like Meet Joe Black? You know what I mean? Like that movie, I'm sure he was nominated for and like didn't win. 
Yeah, there was like a string of nominations. He could have even been nominated for Ad Astra this year. He was good. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, he's in great stuff all the time. He does a great job. Never gets any recognition. This year is not only nominated, but kind of the uh, really thought to be the heavy favorite. Definitely, first of all, from the movie, really deserves it. I would second of all, won at the Globes. I think he's won like the other two awards at this point. uh, If you want to throw that in there. But uh, definitely, seemingly the most deserving. However, I mean, having seen most of those movies besides the poops, I would say <laughs> uh, like Brad Pitt was the one that like leaving that movie was the most for just, sure. like had me like jazzed up. Was, yeah, like, for sure, for sure. Fucking that guy was awesome in this flick. Like, no doubt. You Pesci might even and- think Pesci, Pesci and Pacino kind of split the votes as well as we talked about. Pesci's playing same old Pesci. Yeah, Pesci. But I, just I feel, all, but like we argued. We say, talked about that because we argued that Pesci's kind of like. The older dog in this one, where he's still like the uh, the typical gangster calling the shots, yeah, for but sure. he's not as like off his leash as he is in like Casino and no, Goodfellas. Yeah, yeah, sure, this one, sure. he's more of like an old guy. Yeah, he's I mean, the one. He's I mean, obviously little, they're all yeah, fucking guys sure. in that movie. <laughs> but I'd say he's the sentimental favorite, kind of just because of his real life age and health. It would be great to see yeah. him get. But you know, might have another one in him exactly. where Same like this Pitt, is Pesci for, for uh, have another thing in him. No, this I, could, I don't. <laughs> I'm calling it here. I'm calling that one a diamond in the rough. <laughs> we had my hot take that uh, last week that uh, Birds of Prey is going to be the end of Margot Robbie. So get it while she's hot at this year's Oscar, because all downhill from uh, all downhill from here. But you would think that this is Pesci's last chance to get a real moment of spotlight in front of Hollywood. So That's not like would be a sentimental. The last, next thing he's going to be uh, in the Oscars for is in memoriam. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank great you. Call, That's great call. <laughs> but uh, I'd say that those right there are probably the two big you know categories that I'm personally going to be most interested as well as of course Best Picture which is just an interesting kind of story of like big names Well you would say that's the headliner every year yeah, would be the Best sure. Picture <laughs> <laughs> Of course but this year just being a little bit interesting that it's like you know Irishman and Once Upon a Time just two huge movies with the biggest stars in the world where the more you know the uh, and that's very true Rabbits too, man. and Parasites are really probably the I'd say more likely to win I'd say one of those or Because I know, would agree with you that between the Irish and once upon a time in Hollywood, were there any actors left? Like every, <laughs> no, like sure. literally yeah, every call, actor. Is I mean, but they had to use Bobby Carnaval twice. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was in Once Upon a Time, right? Like he had to be. He was. <laughs> but uh, and as well, kind of just when you look at the last bunch of Oscar winners, there usually there hasn't been a huge. You know, uh, major Hollywood, like big budget Hollywood star, you know, uh, picture like that that won the Oscars, I'd say, in a while. Maybe For sure. Argo, maybe the last, like that was a big Ben Affleck movie, but the last couple, Green Book, Shape of Water. You know, Birdman a couple years ago. Yeah, like there hasn't. I been guess a Birdman big, had like, a decent amount of actors yeah, Birdman, in it, but I guess that's true. Still it's, was like kind of came out of nowhere though. It was yeah, not it was like out a, of nowhere for yeah. sure. And Michael Keaton was kind of a revival in his career, and it definitely it was, was. Yeah, that was a big comeback. It wasn't, and like I get what you're saying. It was more of like an indie film sure. because it wasn't, it wasn't once like upon a, a time big, in Hollywood for sure, you know, exactly, I mean, like, or The Irishman for sure. For but you feel like The Irishman's whole gimmick though was like, look at the stars, like we got Kaitel, we got Pacino. We've talked about this on the special, like... On our so Netflix and dead. chat <laughs> episode, whatever the fuck it is. Third plug. <laughs> so, like, not to beat a dead horse and then chop its head off and put it in <laughs> someone's bed, but... <laughs> Or or make a painting of me on top of it <laughs> and then haunt Polly Walnuts with it. Of a <laughs> is that the fucking picture? <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, those two movies you like you said are huge star-studded casts, and then I guess they just got Scarlett Johansson for the other two. But how about let me throw you a, a, a gambling term at you? I'm giving you, uh, I'm giving you Once Upon a Time, and I'm giving you The Irishman, or I'm giving you The Field. All right. Uh, uh, so what are you taking? You think that Irishman or Once Upon a Time is going to win for best or picture? You, for best picture, or do you feel it's going to be a Ford versus Ferrari, a JoJo Rabbit, a Joker, a Little Woman, a Marriage Story, a 1917, or a Parasite? I'm going to play you know, the, like. Uh, is it going to be the field, or is it going to be the big one of these big, finally a huge, high budget, big star? 
you know, take over the world, Hollywood. With Let that. me keep on going. Please finally answer so I can stop. Uh. <laughs> no, 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 keep going. Two more. <laughs> um, I'm going to play the field, man. I'm going to take the field. Yeah. I do think uh, both of these movies are going to win awards. I don't think. Dan Mixon, what a- <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't think either one's going to go home empty handed, uh, but I don't think either of them are going to win Best Picture. Yeah. I'd probably go with you. As Having well. said that, in that in that same light, I wouldn't be like, "Oh, no way!" Yeah, if yeah. one of them do win, uh, I'd be that way. If one of them won, <laughs> the Irishman. <laughs> if one of them won, I'd be, uh, yeah. I'd be all right. Once upon a time was a great movie, but if they both won, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. If they both win, <laughs> I'll be really. I'd be like that time where one of them, uh, who's it? That uh, who's to... that old asshole that messed up the uh, the Oscar nominations? <laughs> and the winner is Gravity. Oh, you're right. You're no, right. you idiot. Warren Beatty. <laughs> yeah, Warren, Beatty. <laughs> Warren Beatty. That fucking bitch pressured Warren Beatty into reading. Warren Remember Beatty. that old thing where she he read? Oh, dude, I think we slip. talked about it on like, Remember, maybe our he... first Oscar special. Yeah, yeah. But that the whole thing was, yeah. Just his look. Of he was just like he was, yeah, just so not willing to say it in the one chair. Gravity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. No, La La he didn't want to say it. I think it was La La Land. Yeah. I think La La Land won. He's looking. He's like, Ugh. And she's like, yeah, give me it, you moron. La La Land. He's like, no. <laughs> That's, That's right, man. That was fucking crazy. Yeah. And then Steve but, Harvey did it so at I'm the- I'm hoping uh, that happens with the Irishman and uh, Once Upon a Time. And we can both get- we, we can get Just speech, so you can see the can congestion. We can get speeches out of both yeah. of them. <laughs> Just see the congestion of stars on the stage. Yeah, like, exactly. For sure. Watch Pesci freak out on somebody. <laughs> But uh, who the I fuck guess are with you? That, that would be a good time to kind of maybe get along into the next part of the show. First, maybe t- tell you how the rest of the big Oscar special is going to go. Uh, uh, We're going to talk the big stories, but. Big F! W E F U N K. We funk.